IPA vowels. Just as we did with consonants, where we had three distinctions, with vowels, we're going to have four distinctions. Height, frontedness, roundedness, and tenseness. And those are going to be used to differentiate all of the vowels of all of the languages. And then we get to our final distinction, which is roundedness. Roundedness has to do with the position of the lips, not the tongue. Uh, so our rounded lips means that we are sort of pursing the lips as though we were blowing somebody a kiss, like this. So, u, u, o, u, u, o. All of those are pronounced with, a round, with rounded lips. So, for example, that open o and the a sound, o versus a, the a is a little bit further down in the mouth. They're both back vowels, but the a is further down, but it's also unrounded. So that's going to be a big difference between a and a. So again, thinking about that pair, caught, 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 caught. And you should be able to see it when you're in the mirror. If you get yourself to make that a sound like in coffee talk, you should see your lips are a little bit rounded, more so than you would if you were just saying coffee talk. Okay, then our unrounded vowels are e, i, e, a, 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 a. Now, you may notice something about the rounded vowels. They all share a characteristic in common, which is to say they are all back vowels. These are front vowels, e, i, e, a, mid vowels, a, uh, a, uh, and they, there is one back vowel. So what we can say is that all of the rounded vowels are back, but the unrounded vowels can cross the spectrum.